I've been saying it for years and years and years and years and years. Here's, here's proof. Proof. 110 proof that the Biden climate agenda is a fraud, a scam. The Biden administration wants to raise tariffs on Chinese EVs. What do you mean? What do you mean, Markowski? We're going to protect jobs here in America. Whoa, 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 whoa. Protect jobs. I, I thought the goal, the, again, the climate agenda goal is to get to net zero, right? We got to get more people into electric vehicles, get as many as possible, because we need to save the planet. We're in imminent danger. We're all going to die. Remember, again and again and again, the, the, the BS that we're con constantly being inundated with all the time. If that was truly the case, if, it if anything that they were saying was remotely true, it was that dire, we're all going to die, got to do this. Wouldn't you move heaven and earth and everything out there? to get these electric vehicles into everyone's hands. No, they're not doing that. The Chinese uh, electric vehicles are a hell of a lot cheaper. A hell of a lot cheaper than what we're buying here. Actually, Warren Buffett was a major investor in one of the, uh, the Chinese EV companies out there. So not only do we have currently, there's a 25% tariff on Chinese EVs, they're looking to raise them and make them even higher. Uh, and it's not just that. It also goes along with batteries and a myriad of other things that are coming out of China. So again, I'm going to do my logic here. If you are so concerned, if the problem was that type, if it was that dangerous, you would be like, got to get these cars in. We got to do everything and anything that we could. We got to save the planet. No, no. All, all this is is a scam. It's an industrial policy scam where certain people are going to get handouts and giveaways and there's going to be protectionist nonsense that takes place. There's no reality based by any stretch of the imagination. And, and you want to hear, I got a couple of stories to go along with this green stuff that again, I, you're not, you're not, I, I thought this was, you know, Babylon B stuff, but it's not. It's not. Um, yep. Guess what? The, uh, it's, <laughs> you might be, you may be contributing to global warming. That is just your bodily functions. I'm talking breathing, breathing. Your mere existence, your mere existence, my fellow human beings is, could be one of those existential threats. To the client, I, 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 again, I'm not making this up. This is it's scary stuff here. A recent peer-reviewed study out of the UK has determined that exhaled human breath can contain the greenhouse gases methane and nitrous oxide, both of which have a much higher global warming potential than carbon dioxide. But the funny thing is, is that not everyone out there, this is weird, not everyone out there are climate destroyers. 31% of people reach their threshold of as methane producers, MPs. Older people and females were more likely to be MPs, and the scientists have no idea why. And guess what's interesting, too? You say, well, you know, it depends on what the food they're... Well, no, 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 no. No, uh correlation between the levels of human greenhouse gas emissions and diet. So again, uh, it's they're not going to be trying to push you to eat bugs uh, with this one. And again, it doesn't make any difference. Meat, vegetation, doesn't make any difference. And actually, you know, they're saying, nah, gases from meat production potentially results in higher production of gases in the human gut and an, an elimination of pollution swapping could occur. I, again, it doesn't make any difference what so ever. So again, um, I know they came after your gas stove and they, what else they go after? You got to change appliances in your house. You got to get rid of your internal combustion engine. Are we going to have to come after people that uh, uh, have bad breath? Is it even bad breath? I, I don't, I don't even know. Uh, another quick story on the green front here. Um, yeah. Half of uh, Buick dealers 
Buick? They still make, I, honestly, I, I didn't even know. I, I didn't even know. Uh, half of Buick dealers take buyouts to avoid having to sell General Motors electric cars. Uh, maybe they're not selling many Buicks either. I, I'm not kidding. It's a little side note right now. Um, I, I looked up. I, I didn't even know what a Buick looks like. I haven't seen one. Man, I, I, I don't know. Who are the industrial designers? These things are ugly as all hell. But yeah, it uh, looks like they're going away. The dealers are taking a buyout. Bye-bye, Buick and Oldsmobile and all these other cars. Anyway, watchdog on wallstreet.com.